Well, what a win that was. I don't think uh, too many of us seen that coming. Uh, I think I, I did say on the live last week, to be fair, I think it was going to be, it was always going to be a game that suited us, like a tactical game for a team who's not been together very long and like there's a few new faces and you've got injuries and things like that. Then a game like that where it's tactical and there's not as much emphasis on breaking a team down when you've not been together. That's something I think at the minute that suits us a bit more. As we found out against Blackburn a couple of weeks ago where we just couldn't quite break them down. We've not really been together long enough to sort of know how to do that. A bit like how we started under company, really. We couldn't do it then either. But we'll get there eventually. But today, that was just backs to the wall for most of the second half, really. I don't think we had much in the second half. And we just come through with flying colours. They didn't. Trafford made a couple of good saves second half. I don't think they created anything like clear cut where you think, God, he should have scored that. And that's testament to how we set up, how we defended, like we defended from the front well. Like we were just fantastic. And I'll uh, give a special shout out to Trafford because I've been one of his biggest critics. But today he was man of the match, like by a, a good way for me. He makes two, certainly two, well, probably three really big saves in the game and the, they are game changing to the point where like you, you're looking at him and thinking like he's played a massive part in that win today because without him in goal today I do think we probably would have come away with a point at best so we've got Trafford to thank for that and listen we've we've rode our luck at times we had the incident after like a minute with a Stev where he's he loses the ball and the lad puts it wide Big let off, so like you know, but sometimes in football you need them bits of luck to win games, and it doesn't matter whether you're at the top of the league or you're at the bottom. Them moments are big in games, and we've had, we've like fell on the right side of them today. You know, we had the slip ourselves when Collie Osho goes through and scores, and we made him pay for it. It's just fine margins in football. And today we fell on the right side of them against Blackburn. We were on the wrong side of them where we had a lot of play and didn't really do anything with it. Like, But today we're on the right side, so much different feeling. But I think just going back to Colly Osho, great to see him like finally actually deliver some end product. I think for me the biggest thing when I look at Colly Osho, I think, right, where's his next, like, what's his next step? Where's he, how's he developed now? It's the end product. So to see him drive 70 yards and then you're thinking, right, do something and he puts it in the bottom corner, you think, all right, well, perhaps he's he's getting there, signed the new contract and that, not that that means much in football these days, but other than it'll get us more money and he gets more money, so it's win-win for both parties. But to see him deliver the end product was good for me today. And I think, I'll just go back to like, the most pleasing thing was just how we, we stood up to it. I think last season... And like I said this after the Luton game and a lot of people were upset by it, but it's true. Like if company was in charge there today and we were hanging on second half one nil, we'd have conceded. We probably would have just because we were soft. Like we had young lads in defence all the time, like at, at centre back together and it we just didn't work, did it? Like across the whole back line was the same. So to to kind of like come through today is testament to sort of how Parker's got us set up and got us playing. And um, I think, like I said earlier, the, these the games that suit us now because I think Parker's like a really good tactical manager. I like how he sets the team up, how we set us up at Luton, away from home we win. All right, he got it wrong probably at Sunderland, but we had no players. Like that's not you can't blame him for that. We had no players. I think. We will pick up quite a lot of good results away from home and against bigger teams because it suits us. We've got pace on the break. Like once we bring Foster back in, and maybe we can drop Fleming back. I I do think he, Fleming did all right today. Like I'd love to know what he's been taking to play ninety minutes, having not played any football since last May. Because he must be on something. Like if he does a drugs test, he's gonna fail. Like he he must do because there's I can't I cannot believe he played ninety minutes to the level he did having not played since last season. Well, they played 45 minutes in pre-season, but that's nothing. I, I can't believe he played 90 minutes to the level he did as well. Like I think he did all right, but he's not a striker. Like, I'd like to see him dropping back, playing alongside Foster probably, just in behind him maybe. That's where I think he'd be best 
need to be best placed. And then, like, you know, across the park, we we look solid. Got Hannibal coming in midfield. Like, looks like he's making a position for himself. Master, like, house. Um, I don't, I don't think you could fault anyone today. I think we were pretty good. Like, as a unit, we were good. And it's a bit of a statement win as well to go to one of your rivals and come away having won. A lot of teams will look at that and think, oh, you know, after we had we lost at Sunderland, drew to Blackburn, people will be thinking, oh, have they got it? Well, yeah, we have got it. We've just been to Leeds and we've just won. So it's a big result for us and we've got a run now. Like We've had a really tough start to the season. We've played the top two, Sunderland and Blackburn. We've and Sunderland was away. We've been away to Leeds, who were the pre like season favourites. Tough game. Leeds are a good team. Good team. Going to Ellen Road's always going to be difficult with the fans against you and they've got good players. So we've been to Leeds, been to Luton. Lu regardless of how bad Luton been at the start of the season, it's a tough game going to Luton. And then we've had the obviously we've had the Derby at home and then Cardiff was probably Bit of a gimme because they're down the bottom, say, but there's no easy game in the championship. Well, that's on the easier side. But, you know, we've got an easier run of games coming up now on paper against some teams who are like newly promoted and others who should, you'd imagine, will be down the bottom. So it's a big chance for us now to put points on the board and sort of like take a like stronghold of this league. And I, I, I believe we'll do it. We'll only get better. We've got players coming back from injury. I think we're well placed. Very well placed, so like, trust the po like process with Parker, get behind them and that. I think we'll be all right this season. We're, we're going well so far. More points now after five, six games we've played than we had under company, so we're doing well. More room to develop, and I, I do think we're going to go up this season.